Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Loki, and I'm back with more daily Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke. Uh, and I'm not alone today. Today I'm joined by good old Mew Mew Force members, Jace. You do this daily? <laughs> and Captain Soldier 76. He does this daily. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been doing this daily and I have not missed... I think there was one time I missed something and I double uploaded that day. But for basically 80 episodes straight, this has been daily of me <laughs> uploading Pokemon. Uh, one episode was over an hour, oh, close to two hours in length long. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I take this very seriously. So obviously, if uh, you want to support me my way, throw that like, hit that like button for sure. <laughs> um, I'm here with Mimu Force because we're just going to be talking in the background because all I really need to do now is literally grind Pokemon till the end game. Uh, this is a Nuzlocke, so I don't want to fight the Elite Four without a fully functioning team. Let me introduce the team that we got now, at least. Let me show. Let me show you guys. Are you guys ready for this? I know for a fact you guys aren't watching my videos, so get ready for <laughs> Hey, that's not All true. Right. We got, first one up is Golem, a.k.a. Kit Fisto, named after the Star Wars character Kit Fisto. Yeah. Jedi Master Kit Fisto. Yeah. Jolene, the Bull Awesome. This is the, the daughter of... We had a... Uh, a um, bee drill named Jotaro who died to a Diglett. <laughs> so... Oh, I thought you were going to say, like, we had a different Pokemon named Dolly Parton. No. Uh, but either way, he died, and uh, he was our only way of beating Croconaw. So I ended up catching a uh, Oddish and named his daughter Jolene because he was Jotaro, and the daughter of Jotaro is Jolene. We got Nux, my brother, as a Typhlosion. You guys nice. know. We have Nightmare, who is Hypno. Uh, is that Drew? Yeah, the, so he evolved since then. Um, he was originally a Drowsy. I'm going to show you original Drowsy Sprite. Then we got Dom. Uh, Toretto? No, not Dom Toretto. It's named after a uh, person watching this named Dom. Uh, his backstory is, is that he had sex with a Magikarp, and then eventually it was released into the wild. Their offspring... Uh, and then it turned into the shiny Gyarados, and then he watched it die in the eighth gym, gym battle. He watched his son die. And we got Raiders fan as Krabby. And that's basically our team, and we're going to try and train for the Elite Four with this motley crew of people. How far are you? Are you like Elite Four? I, you... I've just beat our, uh, um, our um, rival, uh, whose name is Legends, named after Dragon Ball Legends, the gacha game. Uh, oh, here's some other Pokemon. We got Babar, the Don, the, the Don fan. <laughs> Roach, the Ponyta, just the tip, the Slowpoke. Oh my god, that's a pretty good Slowpoke sprite. I forgot all about that sprite. Oh, this is a great sprite. Look at that shit. Playful, very. Uh, Zahal, the Mareep, named after a good buddy of mine. Same thing goes for Rick. Ya boy trash, <laughs> meow, which is an actual person who watches my videos. His name is Ya boy trash. Uh, Gavin, the coughing, Nighthawk, another person who watches. A lot of these are named after people who watch or, or and our friends. Tayshawn, Skoo, Solrock, Wong, Snake, who is an actual person. It's just not me spelling Ekans correctly. <laughs> Fensa, who I believe yeah. I just got egg. I just got angry at catching this magic carp and named it Fensa. Mouse, named after the uh, the comic about um mice that tell a holocaust story that's why he's named this gavin again because i forgot that i named gavin after a coffin <laughs> shade and pigsy oh and valley and we need valley to fly off but yeah we have all eight gym badges and we're just training for the elite four at this point and uh we're at the point where i'm gonna be doing a lot of training and i just can't talk i just can't do another two hours of me talking to myself it's just not gonna work out for me bro I'm bad at talking regularly for 10 minute intervals. That sounds really hard, just doing it by yourself. I, yeah. I'm so detached from like original generation. I mean, not original generation, but like older generation Pokemon games. I don't even remember how to grind properly because I remember just throwing out my Feraligator every fucking battle. And by the time I got to the Elite Four, he was like level 86 or some shit. And he just soloed everybody. Yeah, that's uh, 
similar to how I do it. Uh, that's how I used to beat it in the old days. Now it's a little bit tougher. I actually know how to do things. Here's some original sprites that I just wanted to show off. This was Kid Fisto's original form, which is why I named it after, because he's just two big ass fists. Yun Al Geo, dude. Trying to find like the very good sprite. I forgot which sprite I said I was going to show you. Hey, how long are we supposed to not cuss? Oh, you can cuss now. We we made it past the minute mark. Fuck. Perfect. Drowsy. drowsy. Oh, drowsy. That's right. Thank you very much. Yeah. This is why he was named Nightmare. Look at this guy. Terrifying. Yeah, it remembers every dream it eats. It rarely eats the dreams of adults because children are much tastier. This is a fucking nightmare of a Pokemon. Always holding a pendulum that it rocks at a steady rhythm. It causes drowsiness in anyone nearby. Terrifying Pokemon to look at in general. Uh, I came back here because I forgot that because I have no way to fly back to the Elite Four, so I have to actually go to the next uh, the next place using um, Surf. It's really weird. To kind of explain this to you, Jace, because you never played Pokemon Silver back in the day, right? Nope. Um, I accidentally... I need Valley for this, actually. Um, so wait, wait, wait. Are you telling me that... Your bicycle did not inflate with air and you could just ride across the water or just choose a random Pokemon to fly through the skies like a taxi? Yeah, no. that It's much more weird and complicated. So let me show you the, uh, the map, which is going to help explain a lot, actually. Uh, let me go down here. Go down here a little bit. Get into the fly zone. So as you can see here um, from the fly zone, all this here is Johto. Anywhere I can fly to Johto, that's perfectly fine. But you'll notice that there's no place here that actually takes me to the Elite, the elite Four. So what I have to do, so in order to get to the Elite Four, you have to go back to the beginning of the game and then use this over here, go over here and surf. Uh, keep going to the side until you surf into a new location right here i think it's right here it should be right here um and boom now we're in kanto which is the original uh place where the original games takes place so you have to actually travel to a completely different region and you can't actually fly back between the two so that's in order to get back here was it always set up like that i don't remember doing that mm -hmm. in the original um they changed it in the um I want to say maybe Crystal changed it, but I know for sure they changed it in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. But this is the this is the way it was always supposed to be, is that you were supposed to go back to the original town game to actually enter the Elite Four, and now we can drop off Shade, pick up Dom, and then now we can start our training. Just the tip, get past this. I also have a backup team, because uh, I'm a hundred percent. I'm not a hundred percent sure that I can actually beat the Elite Four without accidentally causing the entire team wipe. And because this is Nuzlocke, if someone dies, that means they're gone forever. So that means if every single person dies, I have to start over from what I have left in the box. And that's it. Yeah, I don't I don't think you're going to beat the Elite Four either. <laughs> what do you, what the fuck do you mean? <laughs> I got a perfect like level, team. Weren't they like in the 60s or something? No, like they're in, the, the highest they reach is 50. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So, um, the problem is, is that the last, ch the champion of the Elite Four is, um, Lance, uh, who's rocking, I think, double Dragon Knight, um, who are at level 49 and one is at 50, I believe. Isn't this the fucking Lance with the illegal Dragon Knight? Yes. He has Dragonite evolves at level 55, and he has two illegal Dragonites that evolve pre <laughs> before 55. 55. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a pain in the ass. Here's another thing that I think you probably forget. I know for sure, Captain Soldier. This is the this is the 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 move list I have. You'll realize I have no really good moves here. Pop pop, because he's using magnitude. I like to say pop pop. This is what happens when I'm left alone for 80-something episodes. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> oh, he doesn't Max, even have Earthquake. Pop, pop. No, he doesn't. He doesn't He doesn't learn it till I think, 41. So Kid Fisto has been, for the past, oh, let's say 40 episodes, only been using Magnitude. <laughs> uh, 
uh, and this is a it's a move that it has you know at this point magnitude has like w- random damage uh, at the early game it's super that's why we actually lost Jotaro is that <laughs> I did not actually expect the Diglett to know um, uh, magnitude and it did and it fucking one shot him <laughs> oh he got he got Mr Game and watched hit him what, with that yeah. line hammer and right here. Then, whatever. Here we have Golbat, who was a fucking waste of space that won't leave my presence. For some reason, and you'll, I think, uh, understand. So here's a, that movie just did, Supersonic. For the past 30 episodes, I've only been running into Golbats that know both Supersonic and Confuse Ray, and they constantly use it. So I've just been constantly getting confused, and my Pokemon have been... I actually lost one Pokemon to Confusion Death. And <laughs> that sucked because I was like, oh, I survived that attack. Oh, wait, no, I'm confused. They hurt themselves in the confusion. Uh, this is basically no. a dead Zubat. And recently, he, his name was Jake. Rest in peace, Jake. And the person who was named after Jake has finally caught up to the Nuzlocke and got to the episode where he dies. <laughs> <laughs> I remember in my original playthrough of uh, Gold, I-, I had that, like, super ridiculously overpowered for alligator but one of my other mainstays was a crowbat crowbat yeah. right yeah crowbat yeah so crowbat I, that 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 was like the second highest level and that compared to for alligator was at 65 <laughs> yeah that's I, how i used to beat this game which i mentioned i think last episode is that i got my for alligator to level 70 taught it slash and i believe surf and beat the entire elite four with one for alligator <laughs> and that's how kid Woki used to beat um this game and <laughs> i can't i just don't have it in me to do that anymore oh man this onyx i can't believe this onyx is faster than kid fucking fisto he's a jedi knight <laughs> He can also roll. Yeah. I don't understand the speed values in this game. Here's the crazy thing. Is that he was going one shot. He almost did. He unfortunately did not. What if he rages and then, like, one shots you? <laughs> then I would say he deserves it at that point. If Kid Fisto dies to a one shot rage move, then he deserved to die. I'm sorry. Even though he has been my MVP throughout this entire run of the Nuzlocke. Especially now that he's in golem form and he has like the he's putting up the okay fingers every single time he goes to fight. Wait, 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 wait! I just realized how did you even get him? Uh, so I, um, I basically said like, hey, uh, because so what happened is that originally this was going to be a full-on playthrough with no trade evolutions, um, but then Kit Fisto kind of became the MVP for a vast majority of about twenty episodes. So I basically asked, like, hey, there is a way for me to actually hack the game and make it so that any Pokemon that can only be evolved through trading can actually be evolved through um, either using items that you would get in the game or uh, evolving regularly. So I said, if I'll, whatever you guys decide I'll go with, if you guys say, like, no evolve, then Kid Fisto will forever stay as a Graveler. But if you say evolve, then he will be able to evolve into a Golem. So what ended up winning was let Fisto evolve. So I ended up making a second file. Not a second file. It's very weird, the process of actually doing it. But it basically allowed me to um, uh, have all Pokemon that would evolve through trade methods. So this includes Scyther and evolving into Steelix who needs a metal coat and stuff like that. They can be evolved through either leveling or giving them an item. Like, for example, I want to say... Um, if you want to evolve Slowpoke into Slowking, you have to get him a Water Stone, and he'll evolve into Slowking instead of needing to evolve. Instead of needing to be traded. King's Rock. Yeah, you need King's Rock, but um, they they change it so it's actually doable in the game. So there you go. That's why I have Golem and uh, Dom, who is also a Machamp. Yeah, it's been uh, <laughs> I've been doing a lot, man. Was specifically with this game. It's a uh, it's a lot more effort than people probably realize. Which is why I support... I can't believe now that you guys are here, this stupid piece of shit Golbat is actually refusing to confuse me. It's actually kind of making me angry. <laughs> he got one shot. He did get one shot. He deserves a fucking one shot. Yeah. Fisto evolved to level 40. 
there he is. He still does not learn Earthquake. And I think now that I've got you guys all caught up, that will be the end of today's episode. Thank you guys for joining me, and we'll talk more in the next episode as we continue grinding. Say goodbye, guys. Goodbye, See you. guys. Look at this piece of shit walking into the frame <laughs> as we end. <laughs> <laughs>